Shields up, Ironbreakers. We're kind of here coming at you with another episode of the Elden Ring Blind Playthrough. And I was so focused on progressing through Faro Missoula, whatever it's called, I hadn't actually come to the round table hold. And, uh, you know, in between recordings, I decided, hey, I should go and see if, considering that I picked up a couple of stones, maybe I'll be able to upgrade the axe a little bit more. And, yeah. Round table holds in flames. Makes me wonder if round table hold uh, is a place that is inside the tree. Oh my god. These guys are still like out You've cold. Done it. What use do you have for me now? I am a finger reader. I will remain here until their dialogue ends and the fingers speak again. Do as you please. Take Whatever course seems most worthy to you, now you may go. Wait. <laughs> You'd force this tired old crone to work, even now. Yes. Ah, harder task master have I never met. I don't give a damn. You will, you will work for me until the end. This is how this works. This is not over yet. Do we get any new equipment? No. Let's just check him. Now, go forth. Do what you believe is right. I will. How about you, fingers? Y'all got something to say? Yeah, I burned your precious little tree. I burned it. Kind of resentful that, you know, Melina had to burn for it. How are you doing? Take a look around. The round table hold is burned. Raised to the ground. Don't worry. I don't blame you. I'll continue spirit tuning just the same as before. Which is why I need your help persuading Master Hugh to leave. His roots are so knotted in this place. He won't last much longer if he stays here. His shackles are broken. He's a free man now. It's high time he put the round table behind him. I see. You're here. I see. Okay, so she wants me to tell Master Hugh to leave. Do you have something to say? You burned the earth tree, didn't you? No! And the round table is soon to follow. Why is that? Ah, no need to fret about that. The round table hold served to put a tarnished upon the throne of Elden Lord. And if the earth tree needed to burn for that to happen, then the round table must go as well. I'll stay at the round table for a time. I must learn all that can be taken from this place and sear it into my memory. How could I call myself the all-knowing if I did any less? The pursuit of knowledge is without end. For knowledge is never a thing complete. Thus, I maintain the mantle of all-knowing. Perhaps the same could be said of guidance. Who's to say whether we'll remain who we are once the fight is finished? What do you think? As one who aspires to become Elden Lord, Okay. This reminds me of the ending of Bloodborne. If you guys remember when you're near the end of Bloodborne, everything goes up in flames. There's so many callbacks to previous games. At least in my opinion, that's what they are. I wonder if anything happens down there. Oh, nobody else invades. I figured I'd check out the whole location once more, considering that it's about to go up in flames, I would imagine. Okay. Let us uh, see if we can convince Hugh to leave, because that's what Roderica wants. Am I going to get my smithing done? I guess I'll have to go... Guess I'll have to go to the Church of Ailate to do smithing if he leaves. 
Or I could ask EG, but I think EG was leaving too. I wonder if something happens uh, at Ronnie's raise now, though, now that the, the stuff is burned. I knew you'd be back out of your arms. Let's get smithing. Here's one. My masterpiece to slay a god. That's all I've lived for. And my promise to Queen. And my promise to Queen America. But do me a favor and do. Do look after the girl. I can't hold on much longer. I'm going the way of the. Round table. Yeah, it was a grey The grey horn had smit the weapons during my time here. Allow me to call, call, call you this just once before it ends. My lord. For, for that is what you are. Weren't you listening? As I've always said, you came to challenge the demigods and their god to slay them. And as long as you do, I will always smith your weapons. It is what I wish. To smith a weapon for you to slay a god. We'll rest and try to talk with him again. so interesting to see the whole place ablaze. It definitely feels like all of the NPCs are saying like, well, it's time to go. Goodbye. We're all going away now. Let's just sit here and rest. How many do I have? 45,000? He's still here. We should be leaving. Okay, but while you're here, might as well see if I can upgrade this axe a little bit more. Nice. Nice. I did it! I maxed it out. I maxed out two weapons. Hooray! Hooray! Our weapons are maxed out. How about you? I see. Oh, is that right? So Master Hugh won't listen to you either. Nope. You have my thanks regardless. I'll try and talk him round next time. I know he was given this great entreaty to craft a weapon which could slay a god. Though I can't help but think of it as a curse. A fearsome curse. Put on him by Queen Marika. And if that's the case, I'm not sure there's anything we can do. Okay, let's rest. I see. Oh, Smith, now. I've upset the girl. She says that now my chains are broken, I'm free. And if I stay here, I will be ruined with the round table. <laughs> Will you survive for freedom now? I smith weapons to slay a god. I have lived and will die doing so upon this spot. Is there any other way? Oh, smith now. Okay, let's see if she says something different now. I see. That's why she left his side. She was mad that he wouldn't leave. I see. Oh, 
Spinner. Okay, he's got nothing left. Uh, I say we check in with who at this point, really? <laughs> so many people to check in with. Uh, I guess... For starters, time should have passed on Volcano Manor. Uh, where is Volcano Manor again? Here? Let's see if Tanith has finished eating Rickard. I'm curious. Was he tasty? Did he uh find purchase? I guess he's still doing it. Oh, you allow me some our lord. Okay, take your time. Uh and then I wanted to go to Ronnie. But first let's start with EG. Cause I might need a blacksmith soon if the other one's gonna go the way of the dodo. Greetings, my fellow. Lady Rani has along the dark. Now, Lady, I pray that you. Okay, so he's still telling me the same nonsense. Let's go to Rani's chamber. I'm still so happy that Saluvis is dead. Fuck that guy. That guy's an asshole. Okay, so let's try to go to Rena. If she's not here, might be over at Rena's. And if she's not, then it's whatever. We will move on and we will continue. Well, actually, I should check out the... I want to check out... I don't want to go to the tree because I want to finish Azula before we go to the tree itself. But I do want to check out the giant kiln. The kiln of the first flame, one could almost say. I want to check that out. I want to see if anything happened over there. But I don't think anything will be here because I have the doll. So it's whatever. What I could see is if the doll had changed. No, it's, it's, this is the same thing. But it's like, I wonder if I'm, now that I'm here, I'm beginning to wonder if I'm supposed to take the doll somewhere. Because it does say she's going on a journey, then it teleports us there to Einzel. Was there anything that I didn't do in Einzel River? Genuinely don't remember. So the doll was here. There's a side of grace there. You can't go that way. So the only thing left would be forward, but I don't know. I'll, I'll edit this out of the video probably, but let me just explore here a little bit. So I went everywhere looking for uh, a spot that she could have been. I went to the Prince of Death, like the Prince of Death thing here, Prince of Death's throne. And I went to Lake of Rot and I went to Astel. Because those would be like the natural conclusions of where she would be able to go. Because like we land here and I mean I don't ex remember exactly if it is here. But basically the logical conclusions would be, you know, you end up here. Or you take the coffin up and you end up here. And I went to both locations. There was no reaction. There was nothing I could do with the doll. So I just came to check out the... Giant's Forge, or as I like to call it, the Kiln of the First Flame, but there's also nothing here. You can see that the tree is burning. So, it's time to go back to where we were and see about facing the boss. Jesus. So many friggin' things here. Dragon Temple Altar, Dragon Temple Rooftop. Where the hell was, he, was I even? I think I was here. I think? Let's find out. On the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, this is exactly where we were. Now, one of the things I didn't like is I saw a bird over there. You guys know me and birds. We don't get along. Two birds, even. I don't like it at all. Oh 
God, stop! Goddamn flying chicken with talons. Okay, looks like there's another dragon we'll have to face off against. Really, dude? You're gonna force me to... Run all the way? That's not very nice of you. What about if I sneak? Elevator. Eventually a shortcut. Okay, so how about if I sneak, right? If I do... What is it? No, he can see me. So it doesn't make a bit of difference. So here's what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna set up to fight him. Because we probably will have to. Put this and... Excuse me, this. Can I open this door? He's almost dead. Looks like they got tired of making me fight the same dragon three times. He's dead. Golden Rune 12. Looks like there's an important item over here. I thought I was actually going to have to fight him a little bit tougher than that, but I guess not. Somber Ancient Dragon's Thunder. Basically showering me with the final version of the upgrade materials. But it's like what I wanted was 8s and 9s. Which I don't even think we have still. I think we have like 7s seven and 8s maybe? Or maybe the last one is 7s, 8s, and 9s to be honest. But I just don't know at this point. Beastman. Efficiency. Efficiency. We're being very efficient. Oh, why? Evil. Boss fight? Where 
Where is he? It's like in boss fighting mode because I don't feel like constantly swapping between. I really wish there was loadouts. Is this the elevator I saw earlier? No, because the elevator I saw was circular. This one's square. All right. Let me guess, there's going to be a big ball coming down. Nope, there is an urge. Tree night. I can't ride. Oh, a lightning one. The worst part is that when I landed on top of the ledge, I was like, yeah, that's it. I'm dead. I'm so dead. It's not even funny how dead I am. Malform, Dragon Helm, Dragon Armor, Dragon Gauntlets, Dragon Greaves. Somber Smitten Stone. And this. We still have 11 flasks. We now have a boss fight. We're looking at 100,000 runes in the line. Don't care. Really don't. That'll make a difference. Take a look at this dragon stuff, though. Malformed golden armor, adorned with various dragon imagery and worn by the mishappen tree sentinels. After the great ancient dragon Grand Sacks attacked, sentinels had an epiphany. The only way to truly protect the earth tree was to become dragons themselves. Same thing. Okay. I have no idea why Guron could be here, but he is. Two-faced fight. What is it with two-faced fights in Elden Ring? Jesus Christ. What is that? Oh, death. 
become my blade once more. Is it Mog again? Please don't. He's a wolf knight. kept the black blade. Thank you. Legend Feld, Remembrance of the Black Blade. I'm gonna be real, didn't like this fight. I'll explain why in a minute. <clears throat> Burn that Farewell bitch. It is then.
We You'll burned the Earth Tree. Lord yet. Yes, I will. So what's that loading screen? That's a different one. This is the capital? Holy crap. That's pretty beast. Anyway, as I was saying, let me let me try and explain to you guys why I'm not a big fan of that fight. The reasoning is that fight it's a two-phase fight where, you know, the, the boss becomes completely different. And you'll notice that the attempt I killed it, it was so fast. It's just... The tempo that that fight asks of you, combined together with the run back for it, I found extremely frustrating. And it just, like, took a lot of the joy out of the fight for me. I was just like, I just want him dead. Just die. Just die fast. I was, I was to the point where I was about, I just want to summon my spirit and just kill him. just want to be done with it. Because... I don't know, there's something about the fact that it's like, okay, here's phase one, here's phase two, now run back. Here's phase one, here's phase two, now run back. And I know that there's not, it's not even a big run back. There's also a glitch in there where sometimes I'd get to phase two and then I wouldn't get my full health back when I would respawn. So I would have to rest and then do the run back. And I don't know. I feel like if there was a stake of Marika there... I would be way cooler about doing that fight and just like chilling. But the fact that there is no stake of Marika, I found that very frustrating. Dear tree yet stands, tall and unwavering, mindless of the scorch of the flame of ruin. <laughs> then we are yet golden ones, are you? Considering that the table of lost grace was being affected by it, I wonder what it looks like now. New items can be purchased from the Twin Maiden Husks. Hey bro, how's it going? Oh, you're not here anymore. I'm assuming people left. The only thing left is probably the husks. So this place reflects the earth tree. Oh damn, Ronderica's still here. I see. You're here. How's Hugh doing? Hugh, my man, you still smitten? Damn. <laughs> She's dead and I can still get stuff out of her. <laughs> wow. We burnt this place to the ground. Raised it to the ground. We still lost Melina though. Anyway, let's go ahead and offer you these bell bearings. So if I buy now, I can buy all the way up to eight. It's like I thought, six and eights, I'm still missing nines. Does it go from eight? No, eight goes up to 24, never mind. So yeah, I can now full, I finally can fully upgrade everything. Thank God. Uh, it also said she had new items. Black Flames Protection. I don't remember that.
Okay. Either way, doesn't matter. We're good. So I guess I go back to the capital now. Can I even go... No, they, they took away a lot of my... They took a lot away everything except the one... How about this one? How would this work? It's really cool that it completely changes the way the game looks. I think that's fantastic. <clears throat> Would I still be able to access the capital from here? I wonder. Lyondell, Ashen Capital. Oh, this is a new side of grace. I should actually level up. <laughs> 200,000 runes on me. I already wasted 100,000 on that boss. Like, ah, whatever. It doesn't really make a difference at this level. Level 150. That's ridiculous. Nobody needs to be this high level. Can I ride? No. Is that dragon going to, like, come alive? We burned this place real good. There's nothing left. You know what? I think it looks better this way. I think this was an improvement. I think we did the Lord's work. I wish I could ride in here, though. Considering how vast the area is, how the hell are you supposed to explore it if you don't ride? But I'm guessing this is the way. I mean, we're supposed to go to the throne room now because the thorns won't stop us. That's what I would assume. But I don't actually know the way. Does this seem familiar? It does. It does, a little bit, yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that item. I never did get it. What was this? Ah. I knew you'd come. To stand before the Elden Ring. To be I never liked you. I just want you to know that. I commend your spirit, Thomas. None shall take the throne. Queen Marika has high hopes for us. We continue to struggle. On to eternity. Really? You're gonna hit me with that? 
Yeah, you know I didn't like that one. I have bad memories of that one. This isn't over yet. A man cannot kill a god. Maybe it is. Scepter of the all knowing, all knowing helm, all knowing armor, all knowing. Okay. All knowing these nuts. Is it super light? Where is it? There it is. Armor set with countless eyes and ears, worn by Gideon off near the all-knowing. Knowledge begin with the recognition of one's ignorance. You know, this is something that I've actually always said, interestingly enough. Like, I, I've, I've actually said this before. I don't remember under which context, but I think it was because, because of some people that sometimes they think that they know it all. And I'm like, listen, the road to, to learning begins with admitting your ignorance. The realization that the search of knowledge is unending, but when Gideon glimpsed into the will of Queen Merica, he shuddered in fear. At the end, that should not be. Okay. It's the same thing. God, it looks ridiculous. How could you wear that, dude? It looks ridiculous. I still don't know how to get to the item that's up at the very top of this. Either way, the throne room beckons. Who's this? He has returned! Our lord's returned at long last! Our very first lord to brandish the Elden Ring once more! Although, to be honest, uh, I don't know how long it took me to beat... What's his face? Uh, Alakith? So we're actually going to be calling this episode here. Thank you all very much for watching the Elden Ring Blind Playthrough. If you guys are enjoying, hit it up with a like, subscribe, bell notification icon, all that jazz. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay strong, stay safe, peace out.